Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Land 2. Unlike the last few videos, which had me dying quite a few times, thinking I had to edit in case I had to try something several times, one time, which thankfully did not turn out to be the case, and somehow still finding all the hero coins and bonus areas in those last two videos, I actually have the levels down ahead of time this time. Does this mean that I will have any easier time? I don't know. Let's try Gamer's Galleon and find out. Now, you're supposed to go left when you start the stage. When you hit the Glimmer Barrel to the right, you'll see a path leading here. You actually want to go right and hit these Glimmer, glimmer back. Wow, I can't speak the days in my life. The Glimmer Barrels to light up the place as you look for the bonus area, the first of two, as well as get through the rest of the level in general. Glimmer, the anglerfish, does not appear in this game proper. The best thing that the programmers could do was make barrels, just program barrels, that would pretty much light up the screen that you have to hit. And I will be amazed if I find any of the Kong letters here. Because they're all going to be in out-of-the-way places, I'm sure. So, in this level, you want to go fast, but not too fast. It also helps to change into on guard, too. So that way, in case you need to attack something, you'll be able to do just that. Now, even though I've managed to pass an up arrow, this is a fork. And this is the way out of the fork right here. Alright. Now down here should be a banana coin. Yes. Alright. I know where I'm at. Now. We should be able to find the... Ow. Should be able to find the... What is it? The hero coin next. And I just died. Excellent. Which means I'm going to have to start the stage over. Thankfully, all we need to do is just go to the left. We'll be back to pretty much where we were after the first bonus area. And after we completed that. <sighs> Again? Really? Well, it looks like I'm going to have to find another DK barrel. Again! And I am not doing so well right now. Dying two times in the first three minutes of the video. That's never a good sign of anything. You think I'd have this all figured out right now? But no. Apparently Let's Player's Curse wants to kick in no matter what. Now let's stay to the right this time so I don't get killed. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab that banana coin again, because I can. It would definitely help to have as many banana coins as we can, just in case stuff happens. At this point, if you have, like, 20-something banana coins, you're basically good to go anyway. You don't really have to worry about much, to be honest. Now, in case you still manage to be in the dark, don't worry. You can still see enemies and bananas and whatnot. You're just going to have a hard time seeing more stuff. And those crates I went through. You need to go through them. Because that leads to the hero coin. Alright, want to be careful, want to be careful, want to be careful. There we go. And I didn't kill that guy. But, well, that's alright. You'll definitely have to hit these barrels whenever you see them. Whoa. Because you're not going to have a whole lot of time with a lit up screen. And there's the star barrel finally, so I don't have to worry too much if I die again. The second bonus area is near the goal. I know that much. Also, there's another on guard token. And, token. Barrel in case you need it. Also, I'm not going over there because that leads me in the wrong direction. I need to go to the left. 
And thankfully, I managed to find another Glimmer Barrel. And there's another DK Barrel if we need it. Hoping I don't, but you never know. Your mileage may vary. And there's another Shuri. I'm going through this pretty fast. Believe it or not. Also, these guys do not split in pro pro projectiles of four. Those little projectiles that go in four different directions whenever they puff up. Either they don't do it in this game, or they just don't do it here yet. Either way, I need to make my way to the goal. That's not the path to the goal. So we are close to it, I believe. There we go. Now right here. Go down from this second no animal sign. And go through these crates in the wall. These little small crates in the wall. Make your way up. Try not to run into any of those little puffer fish. And you will find the second bonus area. Thankfully... As long as you follow the Glimmer Barrels, you should be able to find the second bonus coin, the second creme coin. It second bonus area is very, very quick to get through. And thankfully I did find everything in Grimmer's Galleon. So we got the two bonus stages, we got the hero coin. The next two stages I'm going to do in this video have one bonus round apiece. Thankfully I know where they are. And we're gonna start up next with Crockhead Clamber. Another swamp stage. This is the one where you start climbing on the cattails. And of course the rope climbing guys will be there too. In case you were kinda sorta expecting them I guess. Well you know they were gonna be there. Don't lie. Anyway. After the fifth cattail, we will find the splitter. Leap off, to, off of him to the right. Bonus area. Thankfully, all you have to do is just rotate the barrels with the control pad. Follow bananas just as a guide there. Right here, just go up and right. You'll be rocketing straight through the creme coin. Now all that's left to do is to find the hero coin. Now, I managed to hit a crockhead barrel, which is just a barrel with a crockhead on it. These little crocodile platforms. These little guys will show up, and we can use them as platforms, kind of like in Red Hot, not Red Hot Ride, but uh, the very first level in this world. Hothead Hop, that's it. But they won't be around forever. And I use the super jump to get the O. Didn't think I would be able to get it from there, but, well, I've surprised myself so far. Also, you can totally tell a uh, difference in my commentary between when I don't practice and when I do. Maybe, I don't know. But right here after the end, we need to wait, w watch for the hero coin. I'm kind of using Dixie's helicopter spin here to be a little safe. And I'm waiting for this guy to go to the right here. There we go. Got to jump off that flitter to the right. While it's going right, keep on going right. As long as you know what you're doing, you should be able to get the hero coin. And we should be done with everything at this point by now. And I still managed to save Dixie for this late in the game here. Which is good, I guess. That is a barrel, right? Yeah, that is a barrel. Okay. There's a 1-up in case you're crazy enough and quick enough to get it. And from that 1-up, if you have Dixie, you can just helicopter spin all the way to the right, skip the rest of the crockhead platforms, and you will complete crockhead cl clamber. I spelt with a C on my notes. Weird. Anyway, last stage of the video is going to be Rattle Battle. And we're going to be playing as Rattly the entire time. I wonder what happens if you super jump here. Just a bunch of bananas. Though I probably missed something from dawdling too long. But there's a K regardless. 
Now, there's one bonus stage, which I've already established, and of course there's a hero coin. Whoa. And at least I know where the bonus stage is. It's right on top of the second stack of five barrels. Also, those guys that jump around a lot, they'll totally be your arch nemesis here. And if you leave off these two Bs, or if you use a super jump carefully from those five barrels, you'll be able to get to the bonus area. Now be careful here. That way you don't hit, hit your head on the last zinger, and that way you won't have to start this all over. I'm gonna wait for this guy to go to right here. That was a bad mistake I made in the practice run, not wait until he switched directions. And between the O and the star barrel, actually right here, this barrel right here, there's an up arrow that I collected all the bananas from. Super jump here by holding select. There you go. Hero coin achieved. And you're going to be doing a lot of hopping on zingers and flitters, and there's a star barrel right after the O and the hero coin. And wow, I thought I was going to take a hit there. There's the N. I know where the G is. I'm going to run into it eventually anyway. Wow. And here, behind this cannon, you want to hold select just to be safe. Let go. You'll super jump all the way over here. At least these zingers are stationary. Want to wait on this guy. There we go. And I thought I was going to have to take a hit and utilize that DK barrel, but thankfully that was not the case. There's the G. So I seem to be gaining a few lives here. And be careful with that zinger that goes in that little half circle pattern. Thankfully he's the only one in the stage that does so. And if you go to the right past the goal, you'll find 10 bananas and a banana coin. And then we can finally end this. So, we got quite a bit of work done today. And in a lot less time, too. This is the difference between me practicing the levels and not practicing the levels. You've finally seen a real-world case study. That was basically brought about because when I did parts, the last two parts, there was a service outage and I wanted to get the two parts in as fast as possible and I just took notes based on what I saw on the map and it got kind of sloppy, but it's actually going pretty okay now. Hour 10 minutes, we've already gotten through a third of everything. We've still found everything so far, which is really good. And that will be it for this part of Donkey Kong Land 2. Join me next time where I go through three more levels. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and Thanks for watching!